How's it going guys? This is Tyler from 6mm Crew. Today I'm going to be reviewing all of my airsoft gear. So, let's start out with the mags. Currently running looks like 12 M4 mags. Um, three of them, or four of them are 450 around high caps. The two grayish ones are uh, 50 round mid caps, and then the rest are 300 round high caps. Two 54 round M203 shells, four M14 mags, uh, 400 rounds apiece, three 650 round AK mags. I think that's how much they hold. Correct me if I'm wrong and the 470 round SR25 mag. I have two more on the way, by the way, so I will have to be here soon. Next is the vest. Uh, the Punisher skull, can't beat that. Fubar. Um, right here, dual M4 mag pouches. Again, on the other side. Got my M203 pouches here. This right here is my smoke grenade pouch. Hydration bladder, gotta have that. This is my emergency mag pouch. I always keep a 450 round high cap in here as uh, my last mag. Foo bar on that one. On the back, I have a do no harm, do no harm patch, grenadier, an American flag hanging down. Um, I don't know why. It's not for any particular reason. I have my uh, 308 mag pouches for the SR25 and the M14 mags right here so I can reach around the back and get this. I have a dump pouch for all my mags. I also have a glow stick for night games. So, that's my vest. These three right here are three of my pull pin smoke grenades. They're just for a demonstration. Uh, you pull the pin and it lights right here. Then it hits the fuse, goes down, and boom. Your smoke grenade's lit. I have this part taped so uh, you can keep the pressure on it. Right here are my black BDU pants. Right here are my Marpet BDU pants. Here is my custom painted uh, matrix mask. Uh, as you can see, I did the whole skull idea. And I made a weird design on the eye. I don't really know what that is. Looks kind of like a piece of asparagus. Alright. That's my mask. This is my, uh, helmet. The, uh, has the night vision mount on it. It's very padded on the inside. I have not used it once yet, because I have not been to a scenario game where I've been able to use it. However, I will be using it here soon. Also, one note I like to add on my mask it's one of the old style ones, as you can see, it still has this uh, padded piece on the back. The new ones have the um, what's it called? Have the hard piece made out of the same fiberglass material, I think, on the back. I know they do have a hard piece of material instead of the stuff from one. Next, this, just like to show people my K-bar. I normally keep this on the back of my vest. Um, it's good for when I'm going through foliage, taking it down. Uh, it's a 14 inch blade. 14 inch knife total. The blade is about I'd say 10 inches. Something like that. It's very nice. Now, this gun in the back here it's my A and K SR25. I have a crane stock, a scope, a bipod, and a functional silencer on it. Also custom painted it, as you can kind of tell. So it's very dark OD green tiger stripes. Um, it's doing 450 FPS, and um, I'm getting about 220 feet of range off of it accurately. Next. It's my Echo 1 M14, also silenced. Um, 
right here the bolt broke off just want to point that out um, so I went ahead and filled it with foam and then patched over it um, I will be getting a new bolt here at some point I have a 9.6 bolt in the SR25 I have a 9.6 bolt in the M14 as well um, this gun is doing about 380 feet per second and also has is also getting about let's say 180 feet instead of 220. The SR25 is much better. If you have to choose between the M14 and the SR25, go with the SR25. Much better gun for the money. They're both about the same price. Next is my ICS AK74. I custom mounted a rail on the bottom there for an M203 or anything like that. I put a forward grip. Uh, full metal, functional bolt, the hop-up as you can see slides, it does not twist such as an M4 hop-up. Also this rail mount right here is an aftermarket upgrade and it's quick to detach as you can see. Now, just uh, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. Slide back on, clip it. It's good. It's on there. Check over. It's ready to go. This is a 40 millimeter red dot sight, I believe. Um, nothing special. It was only like 45 bucks. So that's that. This entire plate here also comes off with the click of a button. It slides back on. It's in there. The battery it goes in the stock. Same with all of these guns, except for this one. This is my Echo One M4. Adjustable stock. I'm thinking about getting a Magpul MOE stock here soon for it. 30 millimeter red dot sight. Very nice. ICS M203. Um, also, the battery goes in this pet box here. I have an 8.4 running through it. Same with the AK. Um, oh, the AK is doing about 350 FPS. Um, and I'm getting about 180 feet off of it as well. It's extremely accurate. It also has silenced gears in it, so it is silenced. Totally. Um, I can shoot from 10 feet away, and you won't be able to hear me. It's a very silenced gun. Very nice. This M4 is extremely loud because of the high tension spring in it. It's doing about 390 FPS. It has an irregular pitch spring in it. So, it um, the pitch is uh, different. Hence the name, irregular pitch. I'm a genius, right? Alright guys, so... That's explaining my loadout. This is Tyler from 6mm Airsoft Crew. Also, I just want to say, for all your paintball and airsoft needs, please go to Clearwater Paintball. That is Clearwater Paintball. They have a website online. They're near the Chi Chi Rodriguez driving range. It's run by a man named John. His phone number is on the website. Extremely nice guy. Love doing business with him. I would highly recommend, if you need to play airsoft or paintball, uh, go through him. He also can do parties during the week, airsoft every Saturday and Sunday. We're starting to do Thursday night games. Um, contact him for more info on those. Um, we're going to be running some airsoft ops here soon. They also have paintball tournaments for you paintball players out there. So please contact him. And uh, thanks for watching. This is Tyler, signing off.